Hey guys, as always, thanks for stopping by. Prisoners being released, cops not answering 911 calls, more gun bans, and roof Koreans. Let's talk about that. Hey, I know I said this yesterday, but it's true again today. I really appreciate every thumbs up. It keeps me in the YouTube feed. So thanks for all those subscribes and likes and comments. I appreciate all of it. Hey, I'll go through a pandemic with you patriots anytime. So thanks. So nationally, we are inching towards martial law and every municipality is walking through the steps of dealing with the pandemic in their own way. Let me tell you about several situations that I think we all need to be aware of. And at the end, I'm gonna have a question for all y'all. Up first is LA County. They've made the decision to release criminals back to the streets. 600 inmates have now been turned loose into Los Angeles in an effort to prevent overcrowding and help stem the virus spread. Arrests have also been cut from an average of 300 arrests daily down to just 60. Probably not a bad thing. So they have rapidly slowed how many folks get put into the system. There's a link down below to the LA Times article so you can check it out and read it for yourself. Now this isn't just limited to LA County and Los Angeles. A lot of places are releasing inmates back to society before their sentences are over. I know, I know. Every time that we talk about prisons and criminality, some of y'all can get a little bit twitchy. And yes, I know that we've got tens of thousands of people that are incarcerated for victimless crimes. I get all that. We can deal with all of that another day. My only point for today is that nationally, prisoners are being released a little bit early. Certainly not in every case, but there's likely some of those being released maybe shouldn't be in society, maybe. Also, because a lot of cities and towns have scaled back their workforce and they're sending people home, what is and is not a crime worthy of a police officer's time is being re-evaluated. A lot of places have decided not to even engage in stopping smaller crimes. One example is Philadelphia. Meet Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw. And no, that's not some lame joke. Philadelphia's Police Commissioner is named Outlaw. According to the Philadelphia Inquirer, Outlaw has announced that from here forward, all lower level crimes will not result in arrests. Link below if you want to read that article, and it's a doozy. Until further noticed, no arrests will be made for all narcotics offenses, thefts, burglary, vandalism, prostitution, stolen cars, or economic crimes like bad checks and fraud. And there's more, but I think you do get the picture. Yep, you can literally steal a car, deal drugs, burglarize, sell your body, you filthy animals, and vandalize City Hall or anywhere else, and the commissioner of police has announced that you will not be arrested. I'm kind of being a little bit silly about this, but imagine living in Philadelphia this week and finding out that your tax-funded police force has told every criminal in town that they can do anything short of murder without consequences. Tax dollars. Anti-gunners and gun grabbers, they love to say that you don't need a gun. If there's trouble, just call the police. And now citizens are being told that the police will only help if you've been murdered. It's almost like citizens are now in charge of their own personal protection. Go about your business, do your thing, and if someone messes with you or yours, handle it. It's literally the reason that I own a firearm and that I practice with it regularly. But this is where people that don't get it, they just don't get it, they literally don't get it. At the very first sign of a crisis, the left will always immediately ban guns. Today's example is from New Orleans. This week, New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell, who is shockingly a Democrat, has given herself the power to ban the sale of alcohol, and more critically, Cantrell can now have the option, she's given it to herself, the moment that she feels it's now an emergency situation, she can ban the transportation and sale of firearms and ammunition. Yep, once again, New Orleans is making the decision to prevent their own citizens from being able to protect themselves just like they did during Katrina. And you know now, this is not good. One person, with a snap of her finger, she can literally eliminate the Second Amendment from all of her citizens. 
And yes, I know you know this next part, the article link is right down below. So here, here's where we find ourselves at the brink of martial law. And I'm not being dramatic there. I do think it's coming. The president seems to be prepping us for martial law. And even today in my own town, cops are literally everywhere in a gentle but clear show of force. Martial law is coming and it's a little bit scary. But I take comfort in this, and I hope you do too, in a group of Korean Americans. Y'all know them as the Rooftop Koreans or the Roof Koreans. During the 1992 LA riots, morons were literally vandalizing and destroying LA. Businesses were literally being destroyed by criminals. It was bad. Now in today's soft and politically correct society, liberal mayors are okay with your businesses and property being destroyed. It was only back in 2015 when Baltimore Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake, she said publicly, publicly that while her city was rioting, she made sure that police gave those who wished to destroy space to do that. Yep. She literally said that. It's documented. She backed it up. Nope, it was documented. And they ended up burning parts of Baltimore to the ground. But that was in 2015 in Maryland, way back in the Wild West days of the 90s in LA's Koreatown. The business owners were having none of it. The Korean shop owners during the riots armed themselves and they protected their livelihoods and they did it from the rooftops minimizing damage and not relying on the government to protect themselves because the government would literally not protect them. So big shout out today to the Roof Koreans and their personal responsibility. To be clear, I am not advocating guns in the streets or on roofs, not today. I want all of us today to proceed with caution, with good preparation, and really, really to prepare and to face with soberness what's facing us. But in an ongoing state, all of us need to be willing to protect our own lives and our liberties. Now, that's where I am. Let me ask you, in a time where prisoners are being released and police are not willing to police their own cities, where are you in all of this with your own self-protection? Let me know down below and let's have a conversation. Oh, and to all the liberal mayors out there, from my cold, dead hands. I'm Johnny, Lip Freedom Ring. Bye.